Kay Michelle and uh, yeah, like that's that? when. Oh, cause yeah, yeah. I think it was Carly that shook a table. Carly, yeah, Carly um, no, no, no. I don't walk in there premeditating anything. I don't really know what's gonna happen. Most of the time, you don't know what's gonna happen. You get tell you you're sitting there and then you're walking into you know whatever you're walking into and then you deal with it as it goes. Um, so no, um, that was real. That was um, I wasn't aware that the table got shook till I. F I walk out and forget my bag. <laughs> like who forgets the bag? Forget the Louis, cause everybody's wearing Louis. Let's talk about the shit inside. Um, I walked right, right back in and got it, pissed off too. But um, that was that was watching someone on camera mimic and verbatim, like just tell me everything I've ever told them since I left. And I was in disbelief, like, cause the cameras are on, you're telling me that I don't know how to love when it's you. So to me, there was a lot of like, I was taking a lot of hits and I forgot that the cameras were there and then I said, wait a minute, I ain't got to take this shit. Fuck filming. And I flipped the fuck out and I walked off. So it was real. I, I actually thought that I kind of flipped it for real. <laughs> I didn't even know what happened till I had to see it. Till everybody was like, oh, this is real. If you be at the restaurant, they were like, what? So w what was it that, that Joe said that it really set off, set off you almost flipping the table on? Like I said, he um, basically sat back and um, just went into stuff I told him in the past like you know he says I don't know how to love that all I do is take that I don't know what do I ever do to make anybody else's happy everybody anybody else happy all the things that I said to him throughout the years so he turned back around it's, yeah out of nowhere I didn't expect it <laughs> I mean, he presses my buttons he I think he he calculates and he says that he's like I know I'm gonna get a good scene from this bitch <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I hadn't spoken to him in a long time, so this is actually the first time on camera that I got to speak to him after like. Recently, or he relapsed. He relapsed. Right. Is he on medication? Uh, it's not. No, I don't. Joey, I don't think Joey's been. He hasn't been diagnosed with him being bipolar. He had. He relapsed. Um, drugs. Um, Joey. Uh, you know. He self medicates. Uh, no, addiction is a disease. Huh. Um, as much as people want to be on the radio and say he popped the molly and he's sweating because it's part of a record, um, and as much as I hear my interviews like, yeah, you know, I did mollies all summer. It's something really serious. So, so he's addicted um, to mollies. Uh, no, or he just hasn't. He he has an addictive personality, and he at one point, you know, dealt with, you know. You know, he was a young kid who used okay. to. I don't. I don't want to get into it. That's maybe an interview that you might want to do with Joe, or just tune in. Okay. Tune into the show, um, but he has a past, and he was doing very well, and he was clean for 14 years, and um, you know, at times I feel like when I left, he started to use, and sometimes I feel like it's my fault when I know it's not, but um, you know, it's something that's really serious. As as much as people just you know want to talk about that or whatever, like you know, it was really hard when I watched him be well, self-destructive. Well, well, being you guys were together for how long? Five years. Five years. So. Being with Joe during those five years, what was like the worst thing that you experienced? You know, what I mean, in terms of personally, just, no, just I mean, in, in, in regards to to the addiction or, or the, the the mental state or stuff like that. Well, no, um, see, Joe, I don't think Joey was using when we were together. Um, I think he had a, a situation with his finger. Um, I don't know. Well, this is just this is just my my way of seeing things. He might correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know. Um, I haven't been with Joe in four years. Yes, we've been close and f we go back and forth with it. Um, but I feel like that was the beginning um, of it. You know, he got prescribed some, you know, heavy medication for it and I think that started something. So his, when he messed up his finger. That finger, we went through, the, he, we went through like therapy and, and yeah. And, and we went through maybe kind of sort and then me leaving and then, you know, the ups and downs. And, you know, I don't know. I guess you would have to sit with Joey and really, you know, he probably could explain better than I can. Yeah, I don't think Joe's going to do an interview with me, but, you know. That's just, uh, <laughs> maybe, that's just you never know. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> it, it was, it was hard then. Um, just a lot. There was a lot of stuff that between Joey and I, you know. I was young and he was young, um, and you know, with Joey, life is just, it's all about playing chess. You know, everybody, they don't, want, they don't want people to know it's fake, and I know you wasn't born with that ass. Have you seen Coco's before pictures? Where that ass was flatter than a pancake? You're gonna try to deport me over entertainment videos that I had Kia Worldstar make a statement that it was only publicity.